Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm showing you everything that you'll need when it comes to installing camshafts in your 1NZ FE engine. Um, the 1NZ FE engine is installed in a variety of vehicles. And like always, I'll put all part numbers, vehicles that it pertains to in the description of the video. So what you see here is the June semi-racing camshafts i got the um sprocket this is the sprocket june recommends to use with um the intake so this is the part number one three five two three dash two two zero two zero this is not the one that comes in installed in the one nz fe engines this is um i older sprocket but they recommend to use this one I'm not sure what's the difference between the old version, which is this, with the new one. But they say, use this. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, I got the camshaft timing gear. So, this is the one that comes in the um, one is EFE motors. So, part number is 13050-21041. Um, well... I'll get to that in a second. All right, the special little tool you need for the exhaust side. I don't recommend buying the Toyota version of this. So this is the little tool. It's to um, bolt on the sprocket onto the exhaust camshaft. And for this little tool, Toyota was asking for a hundred dollars. I got this off of Amazon. Sonex tools. Um, that's the part number nine seven one zero one four. If I'm not mistaken, if not, it will also be in the description below. Um, this little tool. Actually, yeah, it is. It's printed onto it. So that is the part number. This is only six dollars on Amazon with free shipping. I ordered this on Saturday, today's Monday, and it came in the mail today. So that's how quick that was to get this little special tool. Um, but we won't be using that today in this video. I'm just giving an overview of everything you need for when it comes to the camshafts. It doesn't matter if you got the bolt on semi racing ones. Or you got the full-on race cam shafts. Um, this is basically everything you wanna you gonna need. Um, this is the the bolt for the exhaust cam shaft. So part number nine zero one one nine dash A S N Alpha zero three four eight. So I'm basically getting everything brand new. I'm not gonna be reusing anything that's on the car like always um this is the bolt for the intake camshaft so part number for this is 90105-10445 that's that that's everything you're going to need beside whatever um camshaft you go with but this is the packaging that the june camshafts come in so what you get in this is two decals. I'm assuming this is directions. Um, I believe these is the two, the semi, yeah, the semi racing and then the full racing camshafts. You get two little decals. I'll read. I can't read that, so I'm not even going to try. So, this is the camera can focus. This is the intake camshaft. So, part number for that is the camera can focus. 1004 M is in Mark, T is in Terry, 031. So, that's that. And then, of course, the exhaust camshaft. 
which is part number 1004, MSN Mark, Tia and Tia, 131. So, this video, set this aside, it's going to be installing the camshaft. I mean, not camshaft, timing gear. So, let me cut the tape real quick. And then I also forgot to mention um, you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket and you will need a torque wrench for this. I'm trying to carefully cut the tape. I don't want to scar or damage the camshaft in any way. So here's the intake side. Oh, they package this really well. Got some more tape. Sorry guys. All right, so we're gonna get this little timing gear. Now these should already come, but yeah, should already come unlocked. If you reuse it, if you put it on a used camshaft, you want to make sure you unlock it. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to sit there on how to unlock it. I don't have an air compressor or any of that, so I'm not even going to attempt to try to show you. So, when I say unlocked, um, see these two dots right there? This is how you know it's unlocked. So, it with these is pretty much lined up like going like this. It's locked. And according to Toyota, you cannot install the timing gear onto the camshaft unless it's unlocked. Unless you otherwise you will be damaging the lock pin and the timing gear won't work properly. And it'll throw a couple codes. So if you go brand new, like I did, and of course OEM, um, they come unlocked as you can see. So it's in a 45 degree angle. So this is unlocked, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna set this right here, and I'm gonna get the bolt out. And that's it. So, what you want to do, this is the pin that's supposed to go, turn this around, it's supposed to go in this groove right there. You don't want to put it in here or here, that's not where it goes. It goes right here in the rounded one. So, what you want to do is slightly line it up. All right, and then you wanna make sure there's no gap. So it's, this is how you know it's fully in all the way. So next, you don't wanna turn it to where this locks. You don't wanna turn this until it's the bolts in and it's torqued down. All right, so I'm gonna set this right here. And 
then I'm gonna get my torque wrench. So it's supposed to be 47 foot pounds. The camera can focus. So this is the foot pound side. So I'm gonna set this to 47. So once it's torqued down, what you wanna do is turn this and then let's see. All right. So now the lighting sucks, but now they before I installed this and everything, this dot was over here in like a forty-five degree angle. So now that it's been torqued down, the locking pin and everything is set in properly as so. You turn it and then these two will line up. So now that this is lined up, that means that it's locked and now it's ready to install onto the vehicle. So this was part one. Part two will be, of course, taking the valve cover off the gasket and then doing the timing and um, loosen the timing chain to get the camshafts off and so on. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.